six of the Grumman two teardrop series. Uh, we just drew the shell. And we're going to go ahead and finish up with that, and then we'll move on to the door. Okay, so now we got this group. Uh, what we're going to do is put this under a layer. Um, well, I don't know what happened to my other layer. I must have deleted it, but we'll correct that. Uh, that was the profile later or layer. And then we'll create another layer for the shell, or we'll call it the outer shell. Shell. Okay. So then what we do is we got this group highlighted. We'll go ahead and put that under the outer shell. Uh, let's go ahead and click this and put this back under the profile shell. I must have deleted that earlier between videos. Uh, so now what we, we've we got the shell, we'll go ahead and get rid of that or hide it so it's out of the way. Uh, since I got this open, I'm going to put one here, uh, we'll call it door for now. Okay. So we'll zoom in on the door again, highlight that, uh, and we'll do the colors. Again, we're going white, and then white, white. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll actually click on this uh, here, click on my push-pull tool, hold it on here. Again, click and let go of the control key. Hold it and drag it. Uh, what we're doing is three quarters inches. You can just pull it in the direction you want to go. Enter three quarters and then hit enter. And there you go. And you can see the window here. Uh, actually what we're going to do is we're going to make the window transparent or translucent. Select that. Select the color you want. We'll paint the window. you got to do both sides again. And uh, as you could see there, when I turned it over, it was white. And then um, we're actually going to draw the window a little bit more. Uh, we'll go back to this uh, offset tool. And what we're going to do is click on, well, that's not going to work very well. Let me uh, click. I'm going to select all these edges. Again, I'm holding down the shift key. And then we'll do the offset tool. And we'll offset it uh, 3 quarters of an inch. That'll be for the window frame. Uh, so what we'll do is click on this push-pull. Again, hold down the or click the control key. Drag it out in this direction. Uh, well, let, let me undo that for right now. Undo push pull. And then we'll color that. Uh, add a color. And I would like to use this. There we go, the black. Uh, then I will go ahead and push pull that out. Again, hold over it, control, and drag it out. Now I'm going to drag it out uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch. So 3 sixteenths. There. And there you go. Uh, and then the glass. Uh, go around. As you can see, it changed that color back, so we'll go ahead and hit translucent again. Okay, and then you can see through it, you can see the horizon. And then what we'll do is we'll push pull on that from the back side. Again, click on the control key and pull it. You know, you can pull it all the way out just as long as you hold on to the mouse button. And enter your 3 16th as you're holding on to it. Enter and then it put it back in there. And that's as much as I'm going to add. You can draw more detail if you want later on, but that's all I'm going to do. And then we'll go ahead and highlight that all, and then we'll make it a group. And then, of course, we'll go up and name that group Door. And then it's in the Door group. Uh, so if I go into Layer and get rid of Door, it goes away. And then we'll come back and we'll draw more here shortly. I'll click on the face, zoom extent, and we'll do more. 